last five minutes or so that Buck started ending up in the nets? I have no idea. <laughs> um, no, I just, uh, you know, I uh, just, I have no idea. It's a big, well, I do. I, I, there's a couple of big plays. You know, when we, when we were down 1-0, uh, um, they scored. I thought we showed a lot of resiliency. And a couple things happened. There's a, you know, you always talk about your big time players making big plays. Suter breaks that, that the, the, the play up in the neutral zone, gets it over to Marty and Fish. They pop it out to Webb, who came down the wall there and made a great play uh, over to Marty right after the goal. And, you know, talk about getting momentum right back. And then, you know, uh, you know, later on, you know, we get it out of the zone. Willie tracks it down. He loses coverage. He throws it down to Marty. Marty made a great play, pulled Boki out a little bit, and then threw it behind him. And, and Willie, a big body, kept coming to the net and stuck it in the net. And, you know, I thought it was fitting that Webb's got the empty netter because I thought he was real strong and he made the big play on that. And then, you know, our, our goaltender was the, the biggest player of the, of the night. Uh, they had, you know, they're a pretty dangerous team and they, they had some good looks. And we had a lot of good looks too, but I, I thought that uh, we, we had a really good start. I loved our start. We, you, know, we're in, you know, the games, you can't sustain that for, uh, especially against good teams, and you got to weather some of their storms, and we did that. And then, I uh, ran in a little bit of penalty trouble, got through that, which was showed some resiliency. And, um, and then we, we, we did just didn't manage the puck the way I wanted to, but you know they didn't manage it much better than us. So uh, we had some chances, but you know they've got a few more guys that seem to have a little more finish than us. So uh, when you're trading chances with them, uh, the odds are in their favor uh, unless you have a guy like Becker. Ovechkin minus two for just four shots on goal for him. What were you able to do so well against him? Well, game? yeah, I get Suter and Weber out against them. That's probably where it starts. Um, you know, just kept them to the outside as much as we could. He, you know, he tried some things one on one. We did a good job. Um, you know, one on one against them, and that, that's that's number one thing. If you can contain them one, you know, one on one, then um, you're, you're going to have some success against them. In a game that, like that, do you? I mean, you get to the point where you start thinking. First goal is going to win this, and, and how hard to well, you know, that you, yeah, do. no, I, I was just, you know, the way we were going, I was, uh, I, I, I thought they were getting, you know, as many chances as we were, if, and maybe more, but the, the dangerous guys were getting chances, and, and that was really um, concerning uh, that, that you know they were going to get one goal, and that that might be it. You know, I was looking at the clock, and I'm going, you know, this might be one of those where you get. Get the point and see if you can make it happen, and, you know, in uh, an extra time. But uh, you know, I, I love the way we responded. You know, big, our big time players stepped up tonight uh, when it was on the line. So, um, real, you know, good effort uh, in that area. But you know, we have to tighten up our game right now. We're we're giving up way too many chances. So if we're going to be, you know, if we can cut those down, and with the with the, the guy like Pekka and that. Uh, and the way he's, he's played in the last little while. I mean, that could really make it difficult for teams to, to have success against us. Right now, we're, I think, we're playing a little bit of fire. That is performance on that 5-on-3 magnified even more since it was Suter, whatever they were in the box. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. I mean, he made some, some really big saves. There's one that I don't know how he even saw the puck. It was, it was going behind him, and he reached back, and I mean, he's just enough said. You saw it. Oh, this stretch of home games to sort of build whatever momentum you created here, build on that going forward? Uh, well, it's really important. I mean, you know, we've done a good job. We had, uh, you know, our schedule was really front loaded with a lot of road games, and we were able to navigate through that and, and end up with a pretty good, you know, road record after, after 10 games uh, on the road. And, we, you know, we were just 500 at, at home, and now we're a little bit over 500. And I, I, I always say that if you're going to make the playoffs, you got to get 20 wins on the road, and, and you got to be, you know, almost 6-6-6 six, at home. And if you do that, you're, you're covering around 100 points. So, um, you know, if we can, can do something at home here in, the, in our stretch here, that could, they're, they're all going to add up at the end of the year because uh, as you just look at the standings right now, that's probably how they're going to look when we get into – uh, you know, games, you know, 65, 70, 75, 80. Um, Fisher, it's like he had a, probably a better jump tonight than he had had since his concussion. What, what can you sort of say about how he played? Well, I thought, uh, he, you know, he, he looked uh, a lot better, you know, uh, in terms of just his his balance in his game. 
uh, had a little more jump, didn't look as, uh, as I also say tired, for lack of a better word. Uh, where he just didn't, he had more juice to his game. And, uh, you know, he, they were playing against a real good line with Backstrom and Ovechkin. That's a, that's a tall order. And it looks like Kevin Klein had more minutes than Shea Weber. That, that doesn't happen too often. How it doesn't happen too often, tonight? but we, we, we really wanted to match up against Ovechkin and, and uh, Backstrom, that line. That, that was a good line. And, uh, we felt that we were a little top heavy there. They were in the penalty box for a couple minutes. Uh, so they missed some time there, and, and we were pretty disciplined for the most part once we got through that little stretch where we kept taking those, those penalties in the five on three. But uh, yeah, it doesn't happen too often, and, uh, but it, it worked out. Scoring 28 seconds after they scored, is that that quick response? Is that something you can build on? Absolutely. I mean, you know, after they scored, and you look up and you go, you know, we got six minutes to go in the game or five minutes to go in the game, You're, and you have. You know, they they were starting to carry the play. You're going, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen. And we responded with a, a really resilient shift, and we were able to get it. And our big time players stepped up, made a good play, and then all of a sudden that momentum, and that feeling on the bench went away real quickly. And it was like, hey, we're going to get this done. And uh, that's a that's a great response. Can you talk about that shift from Wilson and the Iraq to set up the, the game? Well, it was, it was it was huge. I mean, they had they they had us in our end a little bit. They were able to get it out, and Willie tracked it down. We wanted him to, uh, you know, we were sort of supporting the puck, and he got into the into the neutral zone and into their end, and he tracked it down. And the big play off of that was that he was able to lose coverage. He spun off the guy. He was able to make a play down to Marty, and then Marty, really patient play, um, and, you know, put it behind Volke there. Um, but Willie didn't just stand there and watch. He just he drove to the net for you know a quick give and go play, and uh, that that was huge. I mean, we talk about a momentum swing in a in a hurry, uh, you know. And then you know you look at the clock, and there's you know 27 or 28 seconds to go. Uh, you know, if you hold off, you're thinking, hey, that's a, we'll, we'll we'll sneak this one out for sure. So uh, feel very we feel fortunate uh, because we we gave up a, a, a lot more chances. Than with Ward's return to uh, Nashville, can you talk about how important a player like that is for him? He's really, really important. I thought Ward had a really strong game. I mean, all the little things that he does as a, as a player, protecting pucks, getting pucks out, um, understanding the game, all those things. He's, he's just a, a really solid player. He's going to be good for the Caps. Um, and, he, and, he's a, and he's a great person. I, was, I love the tribute. But, uh, that we did as an organization for Wardo, he meant a lot to our, for our success and, and a lot to the community. And he's a, you know, he's a, he's one of those good guys that uh, that pass through, and and uh, you remember you remember him for all his uh, his good work. Okay, thanks.